what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about modern warfare 2 remastered's mysteriously missing multiplayer mode now a week or more ago we got leaks confirming that modern warfare 2 remastered's campaign mode was in fact releasing this month and here we are it did drop a couple of days ago as long as you are a playstation player now there's tons of reasons why this release actually infuriated a ton of call of duty fans of course playstation getting it 30 days earlier than xbox is certainly frustrating for all of the xbox players who are also isolated and quarantined who want something to do but they can't because of you know corporate contracts and it also pissed off a lot of players that they were remastering the mw2 maps but putting them in modern warfare 2019 but what pissed me off the most is that the multiplayer mode for modern warfare 2 remastered certainly exists already and they're simply not releasing it to the public now look i read the blog post from activision they said they're implementing these classic mw2 maps into modern warfare 2019 but the problem is that there is nobody satisfied with that outcome right now of course it's great that they're still supporting modern warfare 2019 right it's been months since its release we're still seeing continuous support from the developers especially with warzone and with season three presumably we're going to be seeing more maps that are likely going to be free uh, that come directly from modern warfare 2 right which is great the problem is there is zero overlap between the players that want a modern warfare 2 multiplayer remaster and the players that are satisfied with the multiplayer maps coming to modern warfare in exchange right this is not an equal trade-off let me say that again there are no players that want an mw2 remastered multiplayer experience who are satisfied with instead getting the maps implemented into modern warfare 2019 right these demographics are totally separate right they're completely separate desires from the call of duty community right and of course players who enjoy modern warfare 2019 are going to enjoy the implementation of these maps but it does not scratch that itch of getting to play modern warfare 2 remastered multiplayer experience right why is this the case well it takes zero iq points to figure this out right modern warfare 2019 is a completely different game from modern warfare 2 right it's not fooling anybody right nobody thinks that they're similar games of course completely different engine first of all the engine is totally different different game mechanics different guns different um perks different kill streaks the game is entirely different right it's a totally different experience so by just copying and pasting the maps you're not actually satisfying anybody who wants the modern warfare 2 remastered experience and the worst part about that like i said is that the multiplayer experience for modern warfare 2 already exists in a remastered format i'm certain of it and the reason for that is because if you look at the leaked trailer that came out at least a week ago at this point at the very end on the bottom you see the copyright 2009 and copyright 2018. this means that modern warfare 2 remastered has been finished since 2018. now when they uploaded the trailer to the playstation store of course it says 2020 because this is when it's coming out but it was actually finished in 2018 we have proof of that and that's also the year that we started to see a ton of leaks coming out suggesting that modern warfare 2 remastered was going to be released at least in campaign mode now you might be saying okay well i'm the arc that doesn't mean the multiplayer version it, the multiplayer mode is finished right it just means that the campaign is finished well let me ask you this if they finished the campaign two years ago do you really think it takes two years to remaster a multiplayer mode the answer is obviously no right and the reason for that is because all of the assets that are used in the multiplayer mode are remastered because of the campaign right the campaign and the multiplayer mode for that game share essentially 100 percent of the same assets it's the same guns the same mechanics the same audio it's the same textures everything from the campaign is remastered which means everything that they need to make a multiplayer mode is already there and the campaign assets were remastered two years ago so there's no way that we've gone two years and they haven't finished the multiplayer mode it's impossible it's literally impossible uh for that to be the case on top of that 
they've already admitted to the multiplayer maps being remastered because they they're implementing them in modern warfare right now they may be slightly altered but the framework is there right the wire frame is is there the code is there it already exists so we know the campaign is already remastered it's already playable right now on playstation 4. we've deduced that the multiplayer experience must also be remastered right there's no way that they wouldn't have done that so why aren't they releasing it right let's talk about why they're not releasing a completed multiplayer experience for modern warfare 2 remastered well obviously from a business perspective it comes down to money modern warfare 2019 is way more monetizable than modern warfare 2 remastered even if they treated modern warfare 2 remastered just like they did with cod 4 remastered back in 2016 there it, there's just so many more things to purchase in modern warfare 2019 they have way more dlc bundles they have the entirety of Warzone, which is an it's a free to play experience that will pull players into their microtransaction haven of modern warfare 2019 and it's way better to tell your shareholders hey our newest title generated this much money than it is to say hey we had to resort to remastering an old title because our new title didn't do that well so there's multiple financial implications to keeping the multiplayer experience locked away on top of that they don't want to fragment the player base right and this is a big factor because everybody knows that once modern warfare 2 remastered multiplayer experience is released and i do think they will inevitably release it once their pockets start to dry up a little bit um the player base is going to be massively fragmented because i would be willing to bet a large majority of call of duty's core fans started around that era whether it was cod 4 or mw2 or mw3 or black ops 1 i would say a majority of the call of duty fan base started at that time and so everybody is incredibly nostalgic for modern warfare 2 uh, multiplayer experience right as soon as it drops you know there's going to be tons of streamers and youtubers who are jumping on that game and grinding it away and that is only going to do one thing and that's going to pull players away from modern warfare 2019 and of course they don't want to do that why well we've already talked about how heavily monetizable that game is they're constantly releasing new dlc and new packs and microtransactions for people to buy on top of that they want to keep player base uh, the player base high for Warzone because Warzone is again uh, a free to play experience that is getting a ton of exposure on Twitch and on YouTube but is also highly monetizable. So anything that Activision does that pulls players away from Warzone and Modern Warfare 2019 is actually going to hurt them financially and Modern Warfare 2 the multiplayer remastered um would be the biggest thing to pull these players away right there's really nothing else that they could drop right now that would fragment their player base more than a modern warfare 2 multiplayer remaster right and and myself included i literally do not care at all about modern warfare 2019 warzone is is fun right it's okay i've had I've had fun playing it with friends. Um, it's a cool mode and a lot of people love it and that's great, but it doesn't compare to, for me, uh, to modern warfare 2's multiplayer experience. It's not even close, right? It's not even, it's not even a 10% there, right? It's, it's such a worse experience for me, uh, than modern warfare 2. And I feel like a lot of players feel the same way. Right. And of course, you know warzone is its own thing but for people who don't care about warzone and who also don't like the multiplayer experience offered by modern warfare which you know fun fact is, is it's actually a ton of people this would completely destroy the player base right and so not only would they lose money um but they would they would lose even more exponentially more money by the fact that more players aren't playing their latest title so that begs the question when are they going to release the multiplayer mode well I would be willing to bet that we would see the multiplayer mode for modern warfare 2 in probably a year um and it really depends on how well call of duty 2020 performs but even activision admitted themselves uh, i think it was back in january or february to their shareholders that they anticipate call of duty 2020 performing worse than modern warfare and if activision is anticipating that then what they can do is use the campaign mode of modern warfare 2 to bolster not only sales right because people are going to spend 20 bucks to play the campaign but also to get people more invested in modern warfare 2019 
they can do that to boost this year's numbers and then next year if cod 2020 flops which they are anticipating they've already announced this um then they can just boom drop modern warfare 2 multiplayer remastered um it'll by that point certainly have microtransactions cosmetics loot boxes the same thing that cod um cod 4 was uh, when it was remastered in uh, 2016 it had all those added cosmetics and loot boxes i'm sure they'll do the same thing to modern warfare 2's uh, multiplayer experience when it when it's remastered and released um they'll probably drop it around the april time frame maybe march or april of 2021 to bolster the sales of that year or that quarter um because of the declining number of, of call of duty players for cod 2020 and so this is really frustrating right because again i don't really see them releasing it anytime sooner than that i mean you know maybe they could release it in three months or so uh just to keep hype up for modern warfare 2019 leading into cod 2020 but i think from a business perspective um it would probably be more strategic for them to wait approximately one year for this same time frame next year uh to boost the sales of 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 the call of duty franchise in a similar fashion that they're doing right now Another reason why they might put it off as long as possible is because they want to make sure that this remaster comes out on the PS4 and Xbox One. That way, it doesn't eat into the sales of their future Call of Duty games that are going to be coming on the future generation consoles, right? If they can contain Modern Warfare 2 Remastered to the PS4, then that means, you know, in a year or two, um, we may be playing the PS4, which is the previous generation console, right? And, you know, if they release this on next gen, well, then it's going to live on for the entirety of that generation, whereas it may not live that long on the PS4. And again, you know, not only will it give them some final sales from this console, generation um, but it won't eat into their next generation sales as much um, because then people would have to have both consoles and you know I'm sure there that will be the case but you know the fact that they're on two separate consoles um, kind of distances Modern Warfare 2 remastered success from eating into the success of future Call of Duty titles on the PS5. With that being said, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you comment down below telling me your thoughts about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and its multiplayer experience. I would love for you guys to drop a thumbs up on the video. It really does help my channel out a ton. Subscribe with notifications on so that way you know the next time I upload Call of Duty content. My Twitch uh, link is in the description below. I've been playing Modern Warfare 2 on my Xbox 360 multiplayer experience um, for the past week or so over on Twitch. So if you guys do want to see some MW2 multiplayer gameplay, be sure to come over there and hang out with me. I would really, really love to see some of you guys over there. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been OmniArc. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.